Welcome back to Sneed State Community College where we just crowned a ninth grade boys champion. Now we are starting junior, ver junior varsity girls action between Arab and Albertville. Starting lineups first for Albertville. Let's see. Number four, Henley Kilpatrick. And number 11, Caitlin Lambert. Uh, number 24, Danny Childers. And let's see, number 12, Sadie Adams. And I'm missing one for Albert Bull. Number 34, Sarah Pruitt. Now for the Arab Lady Knights, number two, McKenna Tidmore. Number three, Lauren Lambert. Number 11, Haley Price. Number 22, Millie Lackey. And number 23, Jill Stapler. So along with Mike Hart and Dane Dalkey, this is Greg Glasscock with you today. And uh, I don't remember the seeds of these teams, but with Arab wearing their home jerseys, I figure they are the higher seed. I, I, I want to say game. they're the one seed, they're if I'm one. not mistaken. I think they're the one seed. And uh, just by looking from up here, of course, we're, we're in an elevated looking down at them, but they look like they are some good size young ladies. Um, well, kind of like they're varsity tall, athletic, um, that they look to be, uh, they look to be able to move well. It's, uh, and, and you talked about it earlier. They just, man, they just seem like they keep, like it just never ends for Arab girls. Got a great girls program. Yes, it's, un and I know their junior high uh, is really good. Uh, I, I coach Albertville's eighth grade girls, and they beat us to death. I mean, they they got some, they got some good quality players, and just in eighth grade, and their seventh grade, I know their seventh grade is good too. So looking forward to this one, Albertville and their. Road blacks with red riding and numerals. Arab in the road whites trimmed in blue and blue numerals. Arab will be going from our left to our right. Albert will right to left. And for some reason, the clock is, uh, I think they're having to fix their little. Hey, okay, there we go. I started say, running. I wonder, I wonder if it was the same thing that happened in the first game. Okay. If you remember, there was a little conference right. at the end of the jump ball. All right, we're finally ready for action here. JV girls from Sneed State, and we're underway. Tip goes to Arab, number 11, Price. To Lackey. Over to Lauren Lambert. Lambert in the corner to Tidmore. Tidmore across court pass to Price. Price kicks it out to Lackey. Two-pointer, no good. Rebound out. And boy, quick hands by number 11, Price, and then we have the turnover. It'll stay down here with Alberville. Yeah, and Alberville comes out in a 2 3 zone defense. I thought Arab got a good shot against that zone defense. Uh, Alberville picked up a steal, took off, I'm sorry, long rebound, took off, turned it over, and then Arab turned it right back over to them. So let's see if the Aggies can get on the board for us. Lay up, no good. Rebound Arab. Number three, Lauren Lambert. Up to Price. Price over in the corner to Tidmore. Tidmore back to Price. Three from the left wing, too strong there by Lambert. Rebound, Albertville. Just underway, still looking for our first score this afternoon. JV Girls Championship. And Arab coming out in a man defense. It, it's a very soft man. Uh, they're not putting a whole lot of ball pressure on the ball, so uh, I, I expect them to. Uh, ah, there you go. Nice play. Yep. And the layup is missed by Pruitt, and then kind of out of frustration on the miss, Sarah Pruitt picks up the foul. And, and looking down at Albertville's bench, they have seven players. Uh, so mm -hmm. picking up a foul in the first quarter because you're frustrated and you missed a layup, that's that's not you a just, good – so you're 90 you feet away from that. the rim. You can't do that. Yeah. you, you got to be smarter than that. Arab right back, shot no good, but number 11, Lambert – or excuse me, number 11, Haley Price will go the line. The foul is on Albert Bulls. I, See, I didn't catch I that I think number. they Did said you? number 11, 11. Lambert. Yeah. Okay, so that will be on Lambert, her first. And the other number 11, Haley Price, misses the first free throw for Arab. Still looking to somebody to dent the scoreboard right now. Played just over a minute, and she makes one of two. One to nothing. Arab with a lead. 
There's a near steal and a steal. Lambert over to Tidmore. Tidmore, a little runner is short. Ball's loose. Who's got it? Lady Aggies have it. Number 23, West, loses it and loses it again. So a little ragged there, but the Lady Aggies have it, trying to get the front court. They find Pruitt. And ball's knocked out of bounds. Good effort there by number 23, Stapler, for Arab. And Arab's coming out in a 2-1-2 press, and they've got a lot of height on the top of that one, or that 2-1-2, and that, that's going to give Alberville a lot of trouble. They, they turned it over, they got it back, but they turned it over early in that press. And there's a turnover right in front of the Arab bench. The Lady Knights have it. 5-10 to go in the first, one nothing. Arab with the ball in the lead. Well, that was a dangerous pass there, but it was successful for Arab up to Lambert. Now to Stapler. Over to Price, inside to Lambert. Shot's good. Lauren Lambert with her first bucket. It's three to nothing. Ball's loose, still loose. Lady Aggies track it down. Number 11, Lambert. Over to Childers. Childers to Kilpatrick. Nice entry pass. Uh, just doesn't finish as number 23, West. Rebound a route. That's, that's good offense. That's good pick yep. and roll offense. And shot no good by the Lady Knights. Albert will into the front court. Looking for their first points. And we have a foul. That'll be on number 11. Haley Price, her first. And Alberville's got to be, yeah, they got to be careful, <coughs> excuse me, breaking that press on the sideline. Uh, that's, uh, that's a dangerous place because they're going to trap down here in the dead corner as well. There's, there's four spots that you absolutely don't want to be, and Alberville's gone to them twice. They got away with it this time. Right now, Alberville's having a hard time running really any kind of offense. And that one's knocked out of bounds, but it'll stay with the Lady Aggies. Uh, and maybe that one possession that I commented on there, pressure defense, maybe that was, uh, maybe that was the, the, the not the norm because they have absolutely picked up that pressure defense. Albert will inbound here in the corner. Gets it in to Lambert, Caitlin Lambert. Over to West, West pull up shot short. They actually said it was tipped. Back comes a wrap, good, good outlet pass. And unselfishly, number 23, or excuse me, number 23, yeah, Jill Stapler finishes off. So that, it's 5 nothing. That was very nice. That was a great, great team basketball right there. And a 10 second call. And if you're the press, if you're the pressing team, that 10 second call always seems like it's about 12 minutes. <laughs> And then if you're on offense, that 10-second call always feels like it's a fast three call. Arab with the ball. Lauren Lambert gets it over to Haley Price. Price to Stapler. There's a long three off the mark by Price. Rebound Lady Aggies, and we do have a foul on the rebound. And it'll be on 23 Stapler. Yeah, and we're sitting right behind all the uh, the officials from Albertville. The um, <laughs> all, all of the parents here, the, the parent section is in front of us. And I think if the officials will just listen, they'll help them call it. Uh, they called that foul way before the official did. They saw it coming. Yeah. <laughs> You always have a lot of officials in the stands, yeah, don't you? Yeah, you do. Everybody's got that perfect angle. <laughs> Everybody in the striped shirts. That's right. And there's a layup there by number 23, Miley West, to get the Aggies on the board. Yeah. It's five to two. Uh. Yeah. They are right below us, too. And there's a steal. Turnover by the Lady Aggies. So as bad as the offense has been in this quarter for the Lady Aggies, are really only down five to two. 
And boy, there's a block by Lambert. She's uh, a tall girl. I don't it, know how tall she is, but yeah, but that's a hundred percent clean. I mean, she yeah, didn't. Yeah. That, I don't know what they're yelling foul for, but that was a that was a phenomenal defense. You know, a lot of people I saw it the other night in the game. You know, where people scream over the back, over the back. Well, actually, there's really no such right. call as over the back unless you foul. I mean, it's not like an automatic. Right. Just, you know. just because somebody got the <laughs> rebound go. and they were standing behind yeah. you doesn't mean they did anything illegal. Right. 2.15 to go in the first, 5-2. to two. A-Rab leads. Albert going to the front court. And that's a layup for Miley West. She's got both Albert Bull buckets, and, hey, Still got us a game here in the first quarter, 5-4, and Arab calls a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them. 2.06 to go in the first. 5-4 Arab in the Junior Varsity Girls Championship. This is Championship Saturday here on Horizon Sports. Hey folks, Mark Briggy, Sand Mountain Toyota. Back in 2006 when we started, little do we know we'd grow into one of the top Toyota dealerships in the South. On our 17th anniversary, we want to thank our customers and community for your continued support. We want to thank you for trusting us with your new and pre-owned automotive needs and for keeping your vehicle serviced and maintained. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It has been our greatest honor being your dealership and part of this community, but more importantly, your friend. That's why at Sand Mountain Toyota, we're more than the dealership. Since 1952, Wilkes Tire and Battery Service has been the place to take your vehicle for service you can trust. Our family takes pride in carrying on the tradition of providing great service, working with integrity, and giving back to the community. For tires, batteries, auto services, and more, choose the people you can trust. With 10 locations to serve you, including Albertville and Gunnersville, at Wilkes Tire and Battery Service, we get you started and keep you going. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Pliers. Pliers. Phone. Care can be distracting. Phone. That's why our new Whirlpool Smart Range lets you care smarter with control from anywhere. So life doesn't revolve around your range. Give me that Phillips screwdriver, would you kiddo? Every day, care. Whirlpool. Your local source for Whirlpool products and service is Bond's Appliance in Gunnersville. Your local Foodland Market. Your store for everyday low prices and weekly specials with savings on every aisle and friendly customer service throughout the store. We sell only the best USDA inspected meats. Our trained meat cutters offer fresh cut meats to your specification. Our fruits and vegetables are always fresh. Quality and variety you deserve every day. Your local Foodland Market, where savings plus service plus selection equals satisfaction. Back to action out of the Arab timeout. Arab with a ball up five to four. They led it one time five nothing and two buckets by Miley West and it's five four. Cross court pass to McKenna Tidmore. Tidmore. Nice kick out there, but was not finished by Lambert. And on the rebound, we're going to have, let's see. They're going to get a foul call, number 11, 11. for Albertville, yeah. Uh, that, Looked that, like at first. That's Albertville. a tough call. Yeah, that was a tough that's, call. That's a tough call. I, I thought jump ball at the least, uh, but Albertville came away with it pretty quick. But I thought the whistle might be a jump ball, but it ended up being a foul. And with a short bench, that's a second foul on Lambert. There's an easy put in there by number four into the game, Lilla Hill. That's good offense. That's yep. a good play call right there. Good play design. Seven to four. Childress over to Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick will pull up from the free throw line. Too strong. Rebound Arab. And so Arab made a quick adjustment on that pick and roll. They're going to make the ball handler score. All the way to the hoop. Nice play there by number two, McKenna Tidmore of Arab. And I guess that timeout did Arab some good. Yeah, they uh, they fixed what was wrong with them on the defensive end right there. That There's a lot more help. There's a lot more sinkage uh, for the ball handler. So they're going to make the ball handler drive the lane instead of pick and roll. Now nine to four, and there's a turnover. Back come the Lady Knights. That's number 23, Jill Stapler. Stapler gets it to Tidmore. Good pressure put on by Kilpatrick. Dumped off there to Hip. Shot no good. Rebound. Alternating possession. It'll come down this way with the Lady Aggies. 
Uh, and Arab's doing a good job on their offensive end on the back side. Uh, they're catching Alberville's backside forward, uh, kind of ball watching a little bit. They're getting good position, so even when there's a ball that's shot long and an offensive rebound, Arab's going to come up with it. Alberville trying to break the press now, down nine to four. Get it down low to Pruitt, and she will draw the foul. And the foul will be on the official signal from where we're at. I couldn't uh, 22. Really tell. It was 22. on 22. Yeah, Lackey. Uh, okay. Again, not a lot of contact there. I thought she had a pretty good defensive guarding position. Um, might have got her with a body. It's hard to see from up here, but I thought that's a pretty good defensive position. Free throw a little too strong for number 34, Sarah Pruitt. She's got one more. Exactly 31 seconds to go in the first. Nine to four. Arab leads it. Second free throw is good. She's one of two. Her first point, and it's nine to five. It's number 10 into the game. McCrary over in the corner to Lackey. As they work it around, now Hips got it. Oh, nice ball movement by the Lady Knights, and it's finished by number 22, Millie Lackey, with her first bucket. Albertville needs to be time aware here and hurry down to five seconds, and they're still in the backcourt. Oh, man, got boy, bailed out with a foul. Bailed out with a foul, exactly. Number 11, Haley Price, with her second foul. Because that was that was close to 10. Albertville had no idea that the clock was winding down. I would have I would have been surprised if they even got a shot off right there and they, they end yeah. up getting a foul call. So a bail out there on that call, and that's actually Price's second foul now, so four seconds left. That Lady Aggie's going to hurry, heave it up from just inside half court. Boy, off the back of the rim, no good. And that'll do it for one quarter here at Sneed State Community College. Junior varsity girls action after one. Arab leads Albert well, 11 to 5. We'll be back in a minute with second quarter action. This is Championship Saturday on Horizon Sports. Lake Youngsville Pool and Spas is your home for custom pool design and construction, along with service, sales, and repair. They're also your authorized dealer for bullfrog spas and swim spas. For your new construction or redesign of your existing personalized outdoor space, visit our large showroom located at the top of the mountain in Gunnersville. Call Lake Gunnersville Pool and Spas at 256-582-4050. REMAX Gunnersville is a proud supporter of the Gunnersville City Schools academics and athletics. Best of luck to the Wildcats throughout the year. For all your real estate needs, call on the local professional staff at REMAX Gunnersville, 256-582-5585. Marshall County Gas is a proud supporter of this community channel broadcast. Remember, gas does it better naturally. Steve and Marilyn Murphy invite you to visit Harrelson Drugs. In addition to being a trusted health care resource, Harrelson carries a great selection of gifts and collectibles. You'll find aisles of the most popular names and brands suitable for any occasion. They're also your source for customized invitations and printing. You'll always find an all-occasion card to say exactly what you feel. Haroldson's also carries convenience groceries from the shelf and from the cooler. Haroldson Drugs, on the corner of Obreg and Patterson in Gunnersville. First Baptist Church of Gunnersville is another proud supporter of Gunnersville High School. Best of luck to the Wildcats throughout the season. Set for second quarter action here at Sneed State. Arab with the ball and an 11-5 lead. Number two, Tidmore into the front court. And boy, that was a foul way away that you just really don't need if you're Albertville. Yeah, and that's what Coach Enloe's, Coach Enloe's saying is, is don't, don't foul right there. There's no reason she's not giving you the ball. There's no reason to foul right there. Just play defense. Nice feed inside and the layup for Lauren Lambert using that height to her advantage. She has four points, and it's 13-5. to five. 
And a near steal in the backcourt. And now a throw away. They're going to have to take – Alberville is um, – they're outnumbered on the defense on – on that press. They're going to have to bring their back girl up to about the free throw line, maybe even three-point line. Arab with the ball up by eight. Jernigan with the ball into the game. Gets it over to Stapler. Back to Jernigan. In the corner to Lambert. Lambert tried the cross-court pass. Intercepted. Now the ball's loose. Lady Aggies keep it. They get into the front court. Looking for just some kind of offense right now, down 13 to 5. Yeah, and, and give that credit to ARAB's defense. They called the timeout after the two straight pick and roll buckets by Alberville. They've made the adjustment, and here they back up a little bit. They're, they're okay. They don't have to put that ball pressure on them uh, to be successful. Number 11, Lambert over to Kilpatrick. Feeds it inside the west. Shot no good, but she does draw the foul. Uh, and kind of we said that a second ago, the bailout foul. Yeah. Like that, that's another bailout foul. Arab has got, uh, well, I mean, they don't have much deeper of a bench. They've only got eight girls, it looks like. And they um, now have two players with two fouls. I was saying they're, they're getting, they're creeping up into the foul trouble zone. And first free throw is no good. One more free throw for number 23, Miley West, leading the way for Albert Lowell with four of their five points. Second free throw is good. Five for West, and it's 13 to six. Jill Staple over in the corner to hip. Cross court pass. Three is deflected, no good, ball's loose. Arab's got it. Looking inside for Lambert, nice play by the Lady Aggies there. Good defense there uh, by Sarah Pruitt. To knock it away. Long three there, boy. Good, that might be a spark Albertville needs. Number 24, Danny Childers. Wow, that was deep that was, out there now. That was almost from the parking lot. And it's 13 to nine. And there's a turnover by the Lady Knights. And one, one quick bucket in Abbeville, the crowd's back into yeah. it. The girls are excited again. Uh, what? And we talked about it right before we came back on that now Abbeville's getting into that danger zone where this thing could get out of hand. I mean, a couple quick buckets and uh, you know, we got a brand new game. And Abbeville gets it in the front court, Kilpatrick. Gets it to West. West to Pruitt. And she draws the foul. And she's fouled. She's going to the free throw line. And that Arab foul is on. Looks like number 10. McCrary. Her first. So these two free throws here and have you a two-point ball game. First one's good. One more free throw coming for number 34, Sarah Pruitt. And nice stroke on those free throws. She gets them both. Yeah, that, that's the difference in this game and the ninth grade boys is Albuquerque's connecting on their free throws down here. They're not being empty possessions. 13 to 11. And that's off the foot of number 10, McCreary. Another turnover. Yeah. Albertville's crowd and the girls, and that they got that little extra mm -hmm. little extra pump right here. I, I like Arab's press. They've changed. They're going straight man. You got girls pointing to each other all across the floor. So they're going straight man defense right here. Let's see if that provides Arab the spark maybe to get back on the board. 4.15 to go till half, 13-11. Arab leading. Albertville with the ball. Here's another long distance three. Too strong. Heat check. A little heat check shot yeah, on that one, exactly. I think. Exactly. Made the first one. Let's try this yeah. one. Well, this place would have erupted if she'd have got that one. I might have stood up. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, hip trapped in the corner. Gets it over to Lambert. Lambert shot no good. Rebound, Lady Aggies. And Miley West. 
She's going to go coast to coast and score. And just like that, we are all tied up. And, boy. That's a heck of a move right there. Everybody in black and red is fired up right now, and they should be. We got us a tie game, full timeout. 3.37 to go in the half. We're all knotted at 13. This is Championship Saturday on Horizon Sports. It is a well-known fact. People like to do business with people they know and trust, and that is exactly what you'll find at Team One Nissan in Albert. Hometown people with good, honest deals. Community focused. Check us out. Family owned and operated discount building supply in Warrington is a whole lot more than building supplies and hardware. Stop by and browse their 130,000 square foot home center. You'll find popular smoker grills with supplies and seasonings, family outing and tailgate supplies, Yeti coolers, outdoor and hunting apparel, landscape management supplies, boathouse products, and everything to beautify your outdoor living space. Discount Building Supply and Home Center. Three generations of the Walker family proudly serving your family. People's Bank is my go-to place for banking. When you deal with people's, their goal is your success. Here at People's Bank, it's more about a relationship. I know my bankers, and I've got their cell numbers. I just call them. If we had been with a larger bank, you know, we would have just been a number. We're supported 100% by People's Bank. They're our neighbor, they're our friends. We're part of this community. I went to People's Bank because I knew they were going to take care of me. People's Bank treat us like we're the most important client they have. At Piggly Wiggly, we work hard to deliver the very best to you and your family. We offer only the top quality Black Canyon Angus beef, swift natural fresh pork, grade A Kegel fresh chicken, smoked, processed, and frozen meat items. One of the most popular promotions at Piggly Wiggly is our Pick 5 Meat Program. Purchase a single pack of meat and pay our everyday low price. Or purchase five packages marked with the bright red Pick 5 label for just $19.99. You get the best of both worlds, great quality meats and a super low price. You'll always find low prices throughout Piggly Wiggly. A-Rab with the ball out of the timeout. This game's all knotted at 13 now. Near turnover there. Stapler with the ball. The Albert will bench is screaming for an offensive foul. Lambert with the ball. Arab almost seems to be a little out of sorts yeah, out there. Yeah, that's, that's you know? exactly what I was fixing to yeah. say. That they're kind of um, they're kind of struggling to find uh, out what they're doing. Yeah. Lambert with the ball, drives in, layup no good, but she'll go to the line and shoot two. Uh, tough foul call. They had a really good possession yeah. right there. Um, I think got her a little bit too much on the head. I didn't see who the foul was on. I think it was on West, okay. her first. Okay, and so A-Rab's getting to go to the free throw line. Yeah. They need a bucket. They had yeah. scored a little bit, though. Uh, that they, really looked like an empty possession for A-Rab, and now they're going to get at least one point out of it. Five for Lambert. Into the game for A-Rab will be number 11, Haley Price again, along with uh, 22, Lackey. One more free throw for Lauren Lambert. And she gets them both, and A-Rab really did need that. And, and, and I, th I think A-Rab might be abandoning that press maybe a little bit too early. I, I think if they would have picked up, stayed in that, that press, that pressure, uh, that 2-1-2, two, that two, two, I think they were having success with it. There's a three, long three from the right wing. Nothing but the bottom of the net for number four, Henley Kilpatrick. And, hey, just like that, now Albertville has her first lead at 16-15. A-Rab needs to answer, pull up, too strong, rebound hip. Ball's loose. Now Lambert's got it. Lambert shot good. She's just using her height, right, yep. and A-Rab's doing a good job on that backside. Her and number four, four Leah Hip, yeah. they're, they're on that backside in that zone, and they're just they're getting all kinds of rebounds and touches. Their height's going to be a huge factor in this game. A-Rab back up by one. Oh, Kilpatrick will try it again. This one's a bit strong, out of bounds to A-Rab. So we're sitting behind this sign. And I did not see number 11 
Caitlin Lambert standing right here. So when they threw that pass over here, I thought, oh, my gosh. Throwing it to Who us. are they throwing it to? So I, so I did not see her standing there. We didn't sign up to play today. <laughs> no, my days are long gone. Number 11, Price for a wrap. Oh, my goodness. Look what I found. And she was drawing the contact, the and one. And the foul is going to be on the other number 11, Lambert. And I'm showing Dane, that's her third. I was going to say, it's got to be close to third. Yeah. I know that's at least two. but Yep, I'm showing, I always say unofficial on mine. Right. And three throws missed. And look at that. And going to the line again. Shooter gets her They're own over. rebound. I bet that's a coach's nightmare right there. Uh, if he would have saw that, I think he was talking about the other foul. But if Coach Enlow would have saw that, I think he might have had a timeout and might be getting all over somebody. And Price misses another free throw. You don't ever want to see a team get an offensive rebound off a free throw, but especially I would say the shooter. Oh, gosh. I mean, the, the, the statistics are all kinds of against you if you're, a, if you're a shooter to get your own rebound unless it's a long rebound. Well, but she misses them both. So really no damage done there to right. the Lady Aggies. 19-16, minute 45 to go in the first half. There's another deep three short. Now, I know Albert will hit a couple threes, yeah, but I think I, they need to kind of maybe cool down on that for right I, now. Yeah, I don't know if maybe. I, it's not necessary. No, I, and and I, I would be having an absolute come apart. If you're tired, let's get a timeout and yeah. talk. But just to fog one up like that, I, I don't like that. You fought hard to make it a game. Right. Tidmore with the ball. Over to Jernigan. To Stapler. Stapler feeds it inside to Tidmore. And nice defense by Albert Moore. Oh, they, the tie up. They got lucky right there because that backside, uh, and I, I didn't see who it was, but backside forward for A-Rab was, was well in uh, in great scoring position. Alberville got a little bit out of position. They forced the tie up, but if they wouldn't have had that tie up, that would have been a wide open layup on the back side. One minute to go in the half. Albertville with the ball, down by three. Pruitt gets it back out. Shot off the mark for Sadie Adams. And back come the Lady Knights and McKenna Tidmore. Tidmore, nice pass in the corner to Jernigan. Jernigan, layup, no good. Rebound Lambert. Lambert saves the possession. Pull up no good by Stapler, and it'll be out of bounds to the Lady Aggies with 36 seconds to go. Oh, they called a foul. I thought they called it out of bounds. Oh, did they call yeah, a foul? Yeah, called a foul. Did they call it? I didn't uh, see the foul call. Are we 22 maybe? Let's see. He's going to repeat it because uh, I think he gave the foul to somebody that wasn't even out on the floor. Let's see. Number four. Okay, so they said it was on hip then? I guess. I, I didn't I, see a I, foul. I, I, I just thought it was, I missed that all together. Yeah, I just I, he started walking in and reporting, and that's it caught my attention. Okay. So let's see what the Lady Aggies do here down by three with a ball. 25 seconds to go. Pruitt loses it out of bounds. Turnover to A-Rab. Tough luck. She, she tried to – it's a good, it was a good play. She came across, the, flashed across the middle. It's a good play. Tried to put it on the ground and uh, kicked it. Lady Knights with the ball. As this first half is winding down in JV Girls Championship action, shot off the mark by Jernigan. Rebound Albert Moore. Ten seconds to go. They're going to have to hurry. Childers into the front court to kill Patrick. Kill Patrick in the corner. Needs some help. And you're talking about your bailout foul, 1.3 on the clock. And that really didn't hurt because there's still only three team fouls, right. so they're not going to the line uh, other than, hey, maybe, that, you know, it gave you a foul. But, uh, yeah, second. that was a bailout. Yep. That was – they had her trapped. That was a good defense. So, alberville has got, what, 1.3 to yep. catch and put it up. And now Arab has three girls with two fouls. That could be big in the second half. Kilpatrick fires it up at the buzzer, or just a little strong, and that'll do it here at Steed State for the first half. JV Girls Championship action with a score. Arab 19, Albertville 16. After these words from our loyal sponsors, we'll be back with second half action. This is Championship Saturday on Horizon Sports. With gas prices and inflation at an all-time high, Alexander Ford understands it's tough out there. 
We do not want to be just some dealership, we want to be your dealership. For all your sales, parts, and service needs, we believe we can save you money. We have new inventory on the way, a fully stocked parts department, and an award-winning service department. Alexander Ford has been family owned and operated for over 50 years in Boaz. We want to be a part of your family. Since 1943, the Municipal Utilities Board has been meeting utility needs of the citizens of Albertville and surrounding areas. From keeping your home comfortable to providing necessary expansions and supporting industrial and commercial growth, MUB provides the utilities you rely on in your everyday life. Electricity, water, wastewater, all at a reasonable cost. MUB is committed to providing reliable service today and resources tomorrow. MUB is proud to be a supporter of this community channel broadcast. Supreme Courts is your ultimate local indoor facility for competition youth sports, training, and recreation activities. Home to impact basketball and volleyball. Give Jonathan Hyde a call at 256-527-1051. We know you're looking for a reliable vehicle. Heading to work? Headed to play. Checking the grandkids to the beach. Every vehicle comes with a warranty for the length of the contract. And you get a Carfax with every purchase. We make everything easy, from the application, the approval, or to the payments. We're not your ordinary buy here, pay here dealer. Hello, this is Maury Yancey, President of the Lake Gunnersville Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber of Commerce staff, board, and membership proudly cheer the Wildcats on to victory. When you shop local, you are supporting the future of our young people. The commerce in this community helps provide the taxes to support our city schools. If you are not already a member of the Lake Gunnersville Chamber of Commerce, give us a call or come by our office. Join one of the most active chambers in Alabama and one of the largest for a community our size. The Lake Gunnersville Chamber of Commerce, cheering on the Wildcats. Welcome back to Sneed State Community College, where we're set for second half action. JV girls between Arab and Albertville. Arab with a lead and the ball. Pass inside to Lambert. Goes to kick it out, and we're going to have a very quick foul here to start the second half, and I believe it's going to be on 34. Sarah Pruitt, Pruitt. I, I believe, got her as she was a. Uh, she was trying to make a pass out. I, I think Sarah Pruitt grabbed her by the arm. And there was no contest. Like, she knew she fouled. Second foul for her. Lambert over to Price. Price to Stapler. Back out to Lackey. Three, no good. Out of bounds. And it'll go over to the Lady Aggies. And, and Alberville's going to have to, their, their bottom three are going to have to do a better job boxing out. Uh, they got away with that one. Uh, they didn't get away with it in the first half as much, and as fatigue starts setting in again, Alberville played last night. As fatigue sets in, you're, you're going to have to be very aware of boxing out. Don't don't ball ha don't ball watch. You need to go box out. Yep. Alberville with the ball down 19 to 16, and there's another turnover. So back to back turnovers. Arab's height is, um, and and even out on their guards, they they have long athletic guards and. It's, it's been messing with Albertville's uh, ball rotation a little bit, and that right there, it, it caused a turnover. Yep. And we almost have another turnover, and <laughs> a little bit of a comedy of errors going on right now to begin the second half. Pruitt with the ball all the way to the hoop, and oh, it falls off, and we're going to have a or we're going to have a foul. Or all, I think they're actually calling a foul there. They're going to they get are. her wow. with a foul again. Wow, that's with the short bench. That's Sarah's... Uh, I'm showing third foul, and Coach Enlow, I don't think, is real happy with that. And I would have thought it would have been a jump. Yeah, you know, a, a jump um, ball, and I think that's what one official had a jump ball, but the other one overruled and got the foul. Lambert with the ball in the lane, turn around, no good. Rebound, Lady Aggies, Kilpatrick. And there's that athletic ability and height. That's Jill Stapler with a steal in the layup. And it's a five-point game Yeah, that's, that's just careless basketball there for uh, Alberville. And Henley's an eighth grader. She's been playing with JV all year, but that, that, that's still a careless mistake. So she's an eighth grader. Yes. Okay. Knocked out of bounds by Sarah Pruitt. It'll stay with the Lady Aggies. As into the game for ARAB will be number 10, Hallie McCrary. Jill Stapler comes out. 
Long three, top of the key, off the mark, knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Albert. That was a good shot. I mean, it, it didn't go in, but not all good shots go in, and sometimes bad shots go in. But that was a good rhythm shot. She was wide open. I, I don't mind that three-pointer at all. And we're going to have another foul. This one's going to be on number two, they say, for Arab, McKenna Tidmore, her first. And they're calling that on the ground. They are calling that foul on the floor, say she didn't uh, – yep, It wasn't a shooting foul. Everybody's lined up at the – yeah, it's confusing everybody. Because yeah. <laughs> it almost looked like she was going up. I thought she was yeah. too, yeah. But it, they're calling it on the floor. There's a long three short by Kilpatrick. Nice save there, though. And another foul on Arab. Great, great effort to save that ball by Danny Childers. And that was uh, kind of a, a long three off to the right. She took off running after it, got the save and set up uh, her teammate, Molly West, here for a free throw. Second foul on McCrary. And first free throw is short by West. Got to have the free throws in a game like this. Yeah, and again, and you work and work and work, and then you don't get any points out of it. You miss free throws. It's an empty possession. Second free throw. Oh, boy, halfway down and back out. Tough luck on that one. Still 21-16. Arab quickly in the front court. Lambert. Price stuck in the corner, gets it out to McCrary. McCrary to Tidmore. Cross court to Price. Over to Lackey. Good ball movement by Arab. Short on the shot, but there's Lauren Lambert to clean up the garbage underneath. Uh, and in, posi in position to get that offensive rebound. She's hanging out on the backside. I, I love what they're doing offensively. Arab's doing a great job offensively. She has 10 points for the Lady Knights. And it's 23 to 16. That's a long three off the mark by Kilpatrick, a rebound price. Here comes Arab, four and a half minutes to go in the third, up by seven. Nice dish off there to McCrary, no good. Offensive rebound layup, no good. Golden opportunity for Arab, right. and they couldn't cash in. And now coast to coast, looking for the contact. Coach Enlow and the Albertville contingent can't believe it, and we're just going back and forth here. And there's a blocking foul down from us, and that'll be on 24 Childers, her first. Well, I, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I'm just glad both of those girls got up on that one. Yeah. That was uh, that's a hard collision yeah, there. Yeah, Danny slid up under her a little bit too late. It was 100% the right call. but And I thought Danny tried to get there, but she was just a little bit too late. And because of that, it, kind of an awkward fall for both girls. And I, like I said, I'm glad both of them got up. Two free throws on the way. First one for Tidmore is good. She's got three points, and it's 24 to 16. 414 to go in the third. One more free throw for McKenna Tidmore. And she makes them both. Nine point lead, 25 16 for the Lady Knights. And there's a turnover, shot no good. Rebound, boy, a hard collision, and they're going to say alternating possession. It will go the other way. So uh, Arab is uh, is picking up their press again. I think Arab's bench senses Alberville being a little bit tired, and so they're going to pick the pressure up a little bit on them. And Alberville's got that very short bench too. Seven total players. Good job of getting into the front court by the Lady Aggies. Pull up is good. Nice shot by number 23, Miley West. Wow, that was a uh, that was impressive. That yeah. was a nice little pull up from 15 foot out. I thought she was going to go shoot the layup, maybe a tough two. She ended up shooting a little pull up shot. That was nice. She has nine points leading the way. Boy, bodies are hitting the deck everywhere. And we're going to check and make sure. That uh, I think I think she's, she's a little loopy on I that. I'll say she's swaying a yeah, little bit Yeah, I think she's there. a little loopy. She might say she's okay, but uh, uh, she's she's got to come out because I, Coach came on the floor. Yeah, well, she needs to come out anyway. Yeah, I think I agree with sure. that 100. Yeah. percent But yeah, she uh, I, I think she got t took a shoulder yeah. to the head right there. She laid down for about five seconds and she got back up, but you can tell kind of that that yeah. stagger walk. I know players are competitors, but uh, yeah. Trainer is going to check her out right. to make sure uh, she knows where she's at. Yes. There's a shot that's short, rebound Arab. 
So the short bench just got a little bit shorter for the meantime. That, that's right. Tidmore with a ball, loose ball, and here come the Lady Aggies. 25-18, 3.20 to go in the third. Pruitt over to Lambert, back to Pruitt. Over here, left wing, long three, good. Henley Kilpatrick with two threes, and we'll have a 30-second timeout on the court. 3.08 to go in the third. Arab leads Albert will 25-21. We'll be right back after this. This is Championship Saturday on Horizon Sports. You'll like banking at People's Independent Bank and PIB Mortgage. Here, you'll receive a high level of personal service, a full array of accounts and services, a variety of mortgage loans, local loan decisions, and you will see active corporate citizenship throughout our footprint. Step up to true community banking at People's Independent Bank www.pibonline.com Member FDIC Equal Housing Lend NMLS number 466-340 Congratulations to Buddy Bunch and his staff at Bunch Pharmacy as they were honored as the 2022 Health Mart National Pharmacy of the Year As the Electric Board of Gunnersville, we want you to know that we are your partner in the community and we hope our commitment, character, and integrity shine through every time you meet us as we empower our community to be the best it can be. As the city of Gunnersville continues to grow and prosper, your Gunnersville Water Board keeps pace. For more information on the Gunnersville Water Board, including fast and easy online bill payment, visit their informative website, gvillewater.com. Visit Boaz Discount Drugs in Johnson Hallmark in their new location just up the street on the corner of Highway 168 and Elizabeth Street in Boaz. Same helpful, friendly service with personal attention to each prescription. Boaz Discount Drugs is your prescription compounding specialist with custom medications to fit your needs. And Johnson's Hallmark is your source for all location cards and gift items. Marshall DeKalb Electric Cooperative is a proud supporter of our community and our local schools, academics, and athletics. Best of luck to all our local teams throughout the season. Our mission at Marshall DeKalb Electric Cooperative is to provide the most reliable electrical service at the lowest possible rate. We strive to achieve our mission with quality and reliable service and a commitment to our consumer needs. We want to be a beacon in each community that we serve. Back to action, a rab with the ball out of the timeout. Near turnover there. They try to work it in the hip. Deflected off of her, and look what I found for number 11, Haley Price. Catch it surprised me, <laughs> yeah. and I'm, I can't believe I caught that. Throw it up. That's exactly how you draw it up. Yeah, that's, that's, how, that's right what that timeout's for. Yeah. That's right. 27-21, <laughs> 240 to go in the third. Kilpatrick with the ball. Over to Childers. And there's a steal by the Lady Knights. Here comes number 11, Haley Price. And she's going to be fouled, and... Oh, now the official's going to scold uh, Childers just a tad bit. I, I'm going to I'm going to give Childers the benefit, the benefit of the doubt, of the doubt say one. she might not have heard no, the whistle yeah. because she's smiling now. Like she's it does she doesn't look mad. She's smiling. There'd have been no reason for her to intentionally. Keep yeah, swatting, not at that particular you know, time. So yeah. I'm going to I'm going to say she didn't hear the whistle. Uh, and good to see Wes come Miley Wes in. check back in the one who, who uh, had to come out by the. Uh, Hitting the head, I, I, duck. Uh, the trainer was there, so I. Guess she he said cleared. she's good to go. A rab with the ball, trying to find hip off of her, and here come the Lady Aggies. Boy, and quick there, McKenna Tidmore picks her pocket, and now we're going to have a foul on West, and that'll be her second. So now you've got three on Pruitt, three on Lambert, two on Childers, two on West. And, and we're still in the third quarter. And, and now we're at five team fouls for Iberville, so Arab's going to shoot free throw. And Arab has shot well yep. from the free throw line so far this game. They haven't shot many, uh, but, but they have shot well. And Tidmore makes that one. So for the remaining 225 of this quarter, on each foul, Arab's going to be shooting two. Second free throw off the mark and on the rebound. We got a foul. We got a foul on. Foul on Black it. Four. I didn't see that one. Kilpatrick I, I didn't is either. now her third. Wow. 
And Coach Enlow is going to want an explanation on that one. I, and I don't blame him. I think we need to uh, I think we need to get a timeout and see if we can't get Enlow up here to explain that situation for us. Yeah, because I Could I didn't see that one. Well, now we're going to now we're going to talk. He's, okay, he's saying the bucket counts, but it's a foul. So you got another two free throws. Holy cow! I, I don't. I'm I don't. I don't know. I, I, I say I'm a little lost right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out, but I it's I'm having a hard time figuring that one out. So Tidmore hits a free throw, and it's 29-21 as far as we can tell. <laughs> right. That's a little uh, chaotic there. Yeah, and and Arab just got three point play out of that. Um, by, by three or four from the foul line. And Alperville, they need a bucket right here. They're, this is in danger zone. They've got it. Alperville's down nine. Yep. And there's a long three. No good. Rebound Arab. Here come the Lady Knights in a hurry. Just over two minutes to go in the third. And the corner is Tidmore. Is that another foul on West? It's another foul on wow. West. She's got, boy, the fouls are really adding up for the Lady Aggies. And she got put in a bad spot right there. She was on, she was in charge of covering out, and she was in charge of getting on the block because her teammate got stuck down on the back on the bottom side in there and had a hard time getting back. And Tidmore is pretty pretty close to automatic from the free throw line. I, I've got her missing one, and and that was just a second ago, and and so she was three for four on the last possession, and uh, one for one right there. So right now you have got four Lady Aggies with three fouls. And, and with again, a short bench if you're Coach Inlow, right. what do you do? Well, <laughs> you're going to have to think about using timeouts a little bit strategically because this game's fixing to get out of hand. Yeah. If you're not careful, you're down 11. Your girls are tired. They played last night. Uh, it, it's it's the, they're a tired bunch. So let's see what they do. Two minutes to go in the third. Feed it inside the west. Kicks it out. Long three. That's what they needed. Caitlin Lambert with her first bucket. It's a three. Oh, that was huge. That was, that, that was big. a big bucket for the Albertville. 32-24, A-Rab up by eight. Albertville will not go away. Stapler thought about it. Gets it over to Tidmore. Three, no good. Rebound, Lady Aggies. Kilpatrick with a rebound. Gets it to Childers into the front court. Just over a minute to go in the third, 32-24. Kilpatrick feeds it to West. West is going to go to the line and shoot two. Uh, she, she's a player. Now, she's a, she's a player. She's got nine of their 24, but she's a, she's doing a little bit of all of it. She's doing she's playing a real good defense, and, and, and I, like watching, I like watching players, their effort and their hustle. Right. She's playing well. Two free throws, first one's good. She has 10 points. 32-25. And, and you said it a second ago, Alberville's just not going away. No, they're like, not. They're just, they're just not going away. They're, they're finding ways to claw their way yep. back into it. And, of course, I guess in a championship game, you wouldn't expect the team that, to just lay down and die. That's you know? right. Yeah, that's they're true. keep fighting. West was one of two from the line. One minute to go. There's a three from the right wing. Off the mark. Offensive rebound. There's another offensive rebound for the Lady Knights. That one by Stapler. And that foul is on, I think they, did they say 23 again? Uh, I, I didn't see it. something. Yeah. It, well, either way, if it was on West, that's four for her. Oh, gosh. He either signaled 23 or four. I couldn't really tell from our angle. And I, I can't – I'm trying to read the bookkeepers. Normally they'll tell you how many, and, yeah. and I can't see. She's kind, of, she's kind of blocked, so I can't see exactly how many that she's I think had. Talk, she's talking to the coach now. So that she might have four. Might be saying, Coach, you got a lot of girls in bad <laughs> trouble right now. 50 seconds to go, 33-25. Childers with the ball. Let's see, are they possibly going to hold it for one, maybe? I would. Yep. I, there's a long three way off the mark. No good. Rebound Arab. Under 30 seconds to go. There's Stapler. Gets it over in the corner to Price. 
Inside to Leela Hip for the easy layup. Four for Hip, and it's a 10-point game, 35-25. Good offense by Abraham, good execution. Ten seconds to go. Another long three off the mark. Look what I found, though, for Sarah Pruitt, and she will go to the line and shoot two. I'm going to say that was a great pass. That's what we'll call it as a pass, I, I'm going right? to say that was a great pass. She <laughs> saw her wide open down there. I thought that was a great pass. <laughs> Gets the foul. That's just yeah, how what, you draw what, it what up. One shot, right? No, uh -uh, <laughs> no, no, it wasn't a shot. It was a pass. Two free throws for Pruitt. First one's way off the mark. End of the game for Arab. McKenna Tidmore in for Haley Price. 4.5 on the clock. Left in the third, and she makes one of two. All her points today are from the free throw line. I think Arab has forgot about the clock, and they're not going to get a shot off. We're at the end of three quarters here at Sneed State. To, we're about set to crown a JV girls champion after one more quarter. At the end of three, it's 35-26. Arab leads Albert. We'll be back after this. Fourth quarter action. This is Championship Saturday on her. Hey folks, Mark Briggy, Sand Mountain Toyota. Back in 2006 when we started, little do we know we grow into one of the top Toyota dealerships in the South. On our 17th anniversary, we want to thank our customers and community for your continued support. We want to thank you for trusting us with your new and pre-owned automotive needs and for keeping your vehicle serviced and maintained. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It has been our greatest honor being your dealership and part of this community, but more importantly, your friend. That's why at Sand Mountain Toyota, we're more than a dealership. Since 1952, Wilkes Tire and Battery Service has been the place to take your vehicle for service you can trust. Our family takes pride in carrying on the tradition of providing great service, working with integrity, and giving back to the community. For tires, batteries, auto services, and more, choose the people you can trust. With 10 locations to serve you, including Albertville and Gunnersville, at Wilkes Tire and Battery Service, we get you started and keep you going. Screwdriver. Screwdriver. Pliers. Pliers. Phone care can be distracting. Phone. That's why our new Whirlpool Smart Range lets you care smarter with control from anywhere. So life doesn't revolve around your range. Give me that Phillips screwdriver, would you kiddo? Every day, care. Whirlpool. Your local source for Whirlpool products and service is Bonds Appliance in Gunnersville. Your local foodland market. Your store for everyday low prices and weekly specials with savings on every aisle and friendly customer service throughout the store. We sell only the best USDA inspected meats. Our trained meat cutters offer fresh cut meats to your specification. Our fruits and vegetables are always fresh. Quality and variety you deserve every day. Your local food land market where savings plus service plus selection equals satisfaction. With six minutes to go in the game. That's good ball movement. I, I really like Arab's zone offense. They're uh, they're skipping, which uh, in girls basketball is hard to make that skip pass, but they're hitting those skips. And boy, that was needed for the Lady Aggies. A long three by Childers. She has six, and we have a timeout by Coach Inlow and the Lady Aggies. 5.51 to go in the game. Arab leads at 37-30. to 30. We'll be back after this as a championship Saturday on Horizon Sports. Lake Gunnersville Pool and Spas is your home for custom pool design and construction, along with service, sales, and repair. They're also your authorized dealer for bullfrog spas and swim spas. For your new construction or redesign of your existing personalized outdoor space, visit our large showroom located at the top of the mountain in Gunnersville. Call Lake Gunnersville Pool and Spas at 256-582-4050. REMAX Gunnersville is a proud supporter of the Gunnersville City Schools academics and athletics. Best of luck to the Wildcats throughout the year. For all your real estate needs, call on the local professional staff at REMAX Gunnersville, 256-582-5585.
Marshall County Gas is a proud supporter of this community channel broadcast. Remember, gas does it better naturally. Steve and Marilyn Murphy invite you to visit Harrelson Drugs. In addition to being a trusted health care resource, Harrelson carries a great selection of gifts and collectibles. You'll find aisles that are most popular names and brands suitable for any occasion. They're also your source for customized invitations and printing. You'll always find an all-occasion card to say exactly what you feel. Harrelson's also carries convenience groceries from the shelf and from the cooler. Harrelson Drugs on the corner of Obrig and Patterson in Gunnersville. First Baptist Church of Gunnersville is another proud supporter of Gunnersville High School. Best of luck to the Wildcats throughout the season. Jitus. No, I was fixing to say, might not be able to talk. My wife might like that. Back to action here. Out of the timeout. Arab with the ball. Gets it up to hip. Shot no good. She gets her own offensive rebound. Shot no good. Ball tipped around. Lady Aggies have it. And they almost turn it back over. Down by seven. Kilpatrick gets it to Childers. Oh, and there is an unforced turnover there off of Kilpatrick into the Aggie bench. Yeah, that was a big turnover. Alberville had cut it to seven uh, and had a chance to, uh, to get it down four or five and, uh, and turn the ball over. 37-30. Cross-court pass, dangerous air. Tidmore corrals it. Gets it in the corner to Lambert. Knocked out of bounds, and it'll stay with a rab. Tidmore to inbound it, looking for somebody. Gets it in the price. Back to Tidmore, three, no good. Strong rebound by Lambert, and she draws a contact and will shoot two. Let's see who that foul is on, because I think that's on 24. 34, I think 34, they got 34. 34, I'm sorry. Um, well, that's her fourth, and Sarah and Pruitt. Coach Cotton, the varsity girls coach, is on the bench with, with uh, the JV, and he's yelling box out. and. And we've talked about it all game. Abbeville's not, they're not boxing out. And Arab, Arab's using their height. And that was a great offensive rebound. Uh, she got two offensive rebounds right there. And Lambert gets one of two. See, so yeah, according to my unofficial stats, I'm showing uh, West and Pruitt with four and Kilpatrick and Lambert with three. And we still got uh, just under five minutes to play in this one. Still a lot of ball left. And in a tight game like that, you're gonna eventually going to have to get to, to people uh, fouling uh. and – it's hard to say everybody foul but you three. Yeah, you're going to have enough players left to finish the game, right. really. There's a shot no good by the Lady Aggies. Back comes Arab and Lauren Lambert. Gets it up to Tidmore. Tidmore to Stapler. Stapler cross court to Price. Price three off the mark. Strong rebound by Hip. And the fouls continue to pile up as she'll go to the line and shoot two. And is that one on... I think I saw 34 on that That's one, too. That's what I'm maybe, wondering because maybe I it's hard from the angle for us to catch it, and they don't put them on the board, so I am not real sure. Yeah, they either I, said I 23 tell. or 34. If it was on 34, I would show she fouled out. Well, so. then may, maybe the other one was on 20, 23. Three. I, I, I can't. And maybe my count is wrong. Well, you, you're right. The <laughs> angle, the way that, we, the, the way that we're looking, is it, it makes it hard to look at. And Hip misses them both. So it's still 38 to 30. Lady Aggies with the ball. Down by eight. Nice entry pass and a, a good block there. Nice pass and a good block. Boy, Coach Enlow was wanting the old thrown elbow there. Didn't get the call. Looking for hip inside, off of her out of bounds to Albert. Uh, and Arab is really doing a good job of pounding inside. They're uh, they're looking to get the ball inside. They're getting offensive rebounds, uh, and they're taking advantage of an undersized Albertville team. And uh, I, I really like the way they've played the last two minutes. Of course, they're going to need some points. Down by eight, clock's ticking. And West draws a foul and will go to the line and shoot two. Well, I, I didn't see a whole lot of contact there. Um, I saw a lot of uh, theatrics. Uh, I thought maybe she drew that charge or drew that foul, but 
nonetheless, they call it. She's going to go to the free throw line. She's having a good game. Molly West is having a good game. Can cut the lead to six, possibly. First free throw is good. I'm showing 11 points for Miley West. Yeah, that's that's what I got, too. That's, that's what I got. Yep. Second free throw off the mark. Too strong. Rebound hit. So the Lady Knights right now nursing a seven-point lead, 38-31. 3.40 to go in the game. Lambert, they love those cross-court passes, and that's another one that's intercepted by West. Two on two. West tried to do a little too much there and traveled. Yeah, I think that's the right call. I think yeah. she traveled before she got yeah. fouled. She did get fouled, but I think she traveled beforehand. And got a timeout. Timeout on the court. 30-second timeout. We'll take it with them. 3.31 to go in the game. A-Rab leads Albertville 38-31. This is Championship Saturday on Horizon Sports. It is a well-known fact. People like to do business with people they know and trust, and that is exactly what you'll find at Team One Nissan in Albertville. Hometown people with good, honest deals. Community-focused. Check us out. Family owned and operated discount building supply in Warrington is a whole lot more than building supplies and hardware. Stop by and browse their 130,000 square foot home center. You'll find popular smoker grills with supplies and seasonings, family outing and tailgate supplies, Yeti coolers, outdoor and hunting apparel, landscape management supplies, boathouse products, and everything to beautify your outdoor living space. Discount Building Supply and Home Center. Three generations of the Walker family proudly serving your family. People's Bank is my go-to place for banking. When you deal with people's, their goal is your success. Here at People's Bank, it's more about a relationship. I know my bankers, and I've got their cell numbers. I just call them. If we had been with a larger bank, you know, we would have just been a number. We're supported 100% by People's Bank. They're our neighbor, they're our friends. We're part of this community. I went to People's Bank because I knew they were going to take care of me. People's Bank treat us like we're the most important client they have. At Piggly Wiggly, we work hard to deliver the very best to you and your family. We offer only the top quality Black Canyon Angus beef, swift natural fresh pork, grade A Kegel fresh chicken, smoked, processed, and frozen meat items. One of the most popular promotions at Piggly Wiggly is our Pick 5 Meat Program. Purchase a single pack of meat and pay our everyday low price. Or purchase five packages marked with the bright red Pick 5 label for just $19.99. You get the best of both worlds, great quality meats and a super low price. You'll always find low prices throughout Piggly Wiggly. Starting the second quarter here at Sneed State. D.A.R. with a ball and I believe this is our largest lead of the game at seven. 20 to 13. That pass is intercepted by Thomas Johnson. Johnson with the ball in the front court. Finds Jacoby Watson. Jacoby will take a long three and nothing but the bottom of the net. Whoa. Seven for Jacoby. That was a confident shot yeah, from well, about 22 feet out. 20 to 16 now and a turnover. So Albertville gets it right back. And these two teams play a lot the same style, and that's what's making it fun. It's not one team likes to slow it and the other team likes to run it. Both these teams like to get up and down. Going to be a fun game, no doubt about it. Right. Jacoby Watson with it. Over to Britt Carroll into the game, into Anderson. Three up short by number four, Britt Carroll, rebound DAR. And they almost throw it away there. Almost threw that ball away, too. They, they need a shot. 20 to 16. There's Bubba Rice. Rice to Ledbetter. Nice play by Ledbetter driving the baseline, the reverse layup. He's got four. Yeah, that was a good finish. Nice yep. finish. 22 16. Carroll thought about it again, looking for some help. Gets it to Watson. Watson, right wing from way downtown. He's got back-to-back -back threes. Look out. He's and, got ten. And those are deep. deep. Like, those are deep shots. And it's a three-point game, 22-19. to 19. And we're going to have a foul on the floor. Number 30. 30, which is Cade, Cade Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. Cade's first. 
So we got ourselves a three-point game with five and a half minutes left in the first half. Jacoby Watson will get a much-deserved breather. For how long, though, we don't know. And number 21, Sam El or Cam Ellis goes up strong, and he'll go to the line and shoot two. And, and I love that inbounds play. If, if you remember when Trinity Bell played for Apple, I do that, remember that, that was one of the most effective – most, one of the most effective inbound plays, and, and th he has the option. He can hand it off to the point guard uh, running around him, or he can keep it, and that's what he did right there. He kept it, got got the Alperville defender on his back, and uh, got the foul. And I believe that foul, they called it on Max Williams, yes. his first. First free throw by Ellis is missed. He has one more, and misses them both. So it's a one-possession game, 22-19. Johnson with the ball out to Carroll. Carroll to Waldrop, back to Carroll. Good ball movement by the Aggies. Now a shot no good from three by Waldrop. Let's see who wants it. And I think we're going to have a tie-up. Boy, they gave it longer than I thought they yeah, would they on did. that. I, I agree. <laughs> and the, the length that I thought they might get a foul, That's but a, uh, they end up getting that jump ball, and Alperville, Alperville keeps keep it. it. Waldrop to inbound the ball. Or excuse me, Johnson inbound the ball. Looking for Waldrop, knocked out of bounds. Stay with the Aggies. 5.03 to go in the first, 22, or in the second, 22-19. DAR with a lead as Talik Saint comes back in. He will replace number 23, Max Williams. Coach Maverick Smith calls out a play. Saint gets the ball to Carroll. Carroll cross court over to Johnson. Johnson feeds in the Anderson. Nice play. Does everything but finishes. Strong rebound by the Patriots. Ball's loose. D.A.R. keeps it. Number two, Broadway drives in, and he will be tripped. Yeah, and they're going to get uh, – four. Number Carol. four, yeah. I, I thought they might get Kate Anderson on that one, too. I think got a couple guys got their feet mixed up. And, and what I like about both of these teams is they both play man defense, and so there's no sitting back in a zone and, and you know, evaluating the defense and the, the slow movement of the basketball. It's, it is, and that's why it's so up, up, up pace and, and fast tempo, and it, it's fun basketball to watch. Yeah, it is. And there's a near steal, and it will go out of bounds to Albertville. I feel like we've been on 22-19 for uh, a little while now. We've had more action to have uh, uh, that just, few points. Yeah, in the last yeah few exactly. Especially the way these two teams started. Yeah, that, they started out on fire. And I think kind of they uh, defensively they maybe made some adjustments and kind of yeah. settled down. So Albertville ball down by three. There's Anderson, long three, top of the key, short. Strong rebound pulled down by 21, Cam Ellis. Out with the Broadway, Broadway to the hoop, and he will draw the blocking foul and go to the line. The foul will be on Anderson, his second. Yeah, and he, he kind of tried to take the poor man's charge right there. He, he really wasn't in possession, position to take that charge. He kind of slid his hips over just a little bit too much. I think if he wouldn't even have tried to do anything, he, he might have missed, missed the missed shot anyways. Yeah. Well, and D.A.R. here has missed a, missed a few free throws in this first half. They have. I was just fixing to say they're, they're, uh, their empty possessions are – and their teams like this, both of these teams, their empty possessions aren't as important as, say, a, a team that plays against a zone defense. Mm -hmm. You get a lot more possessions. Second free throw. He knew he missed that when he shot it. And out of bounds to Albert Bull. So an empty possession there for the Patriots. And four minutes to go. Aggies with a ball, still down by three. There's Jacoby Watson with the ball back into the game. His shot is good. Uh, he Seems like he's doing everything just, right now. And he's yeah. so smooth and yeah. just kind of – it looked like when he wants to score, that's, that's what he's going to go do. I would almost think he could play varsity ball right now. Uh, really? It, yeah, and, and I'm not aware of kind of why he's not. Right. Uh, there might, might be something, maybe want to get him a, some extra minutes here on JV. That might be it. Shot no good. 
Offensive rebound, though, Rice. And number five into the game, Landon Boyd will draw the foul. And DNAR is attacking. Um, and a couple of them are, are in my – again, I'm sitting up high, but a couple of them are undersized, but I don't think you can tell them that because um, they're taking the ball, they're getting in their offense, and they're rolling right to the rim. They're, they're getting there. First free throw is no good. Yet another free throw missed by the Patriots. Yeah, I know when I've done some research looking up some rosters for Albertville's varsity roster, Watson and Talik Saint are actually both on it. So, there's another, so maybe it's a deal of getting more minutes maybe at this level. Yeah, I, and I think Talik has seen a couple of varsity yes. games. I do, I do know that. I don't know if Jacoby has. There's a three from the corner, no good. Offensive rebound, Carroll floats it high, no good. Gets his own rebound, nothing, no call. I think he won a call. They're yeah. letting them play a bit here in this first half. It's a good floater, missed it, yep. got his own rebound. I, I, thought he, I thought he drew some contact, but uh, nonetheless got an offensive rebound and, and put it up, just happened to miss that one too. 22-21, DAR clinging to a one-point lead as we're under three minutes to go in the half. And Much. an alternating possession. It'll stay uh, down here. I should say should stay here. Much better defense there. Even if uh, Talik didn't get his hands on that jump ball, they had, uh, had Jacoby had rotated over in a good spot. There's the inbound to Ellis. Ellis looking for some help. Hands it off to number 10, Hayes. Shot no good. Back come the Aggies and Jacoby Watson. Watson, nice pass to Saint for the layup. Talik has three points, and we have a full timeout on the court. 2.34 to go in the game. Aggies lead DAR 23-22. We'll be right back. This is Championship Saturday on Horizon Sports. But you got to score in a hurry. West with it. Over to Kilpatrick. Shot short. Rebound Jill Stapler and Arab. And Enlow's yelling out to foul. And they're not, well, uh. <laughs> Well, a that was a foul away from the ball. A foul away. It's almost like she was almost punching the A-Rab player. I didn't like, see it. Yeah, I didn't she see was, it. <laughs> that, that was a pretty good jab there. Uh, she, she might need to try boxing <laughs> one day. <laughs> well, her coach said foul, so uh, she took him to heart. And that is five. And got the foul. Yeah, that's the first Aggie to foul out. So Lambert exits with three points. So with 15.6 on the clock, the next foul, Arab will be shooting two. They get it in. Oh, nice pass into Tidmore. Nice job. For the bucket, and that'll pretty much do this one. Ten yep. seconds to go, 44-33. West, long range three, short, and that'll do it. Final score, Arab 44, Albertville 33. Congratulations to both teams, especially the ARAB Lady Knights JV Girls Champions. Now we will have the presentations of the trophies here in just a second. So congratulations to ARAB. So our two winners today, freshman boys Gunnersville and now JV Girls is ARAB. And Albertville's got two more shots today at a crown. Starting with a game next, JV boys between Albertville and the DAR Patriots. And I don't know who's got the – I don't know who the, the higher seed is in that one. Um, I know Albertville boys were the higher seed in the ninth grade game. They got beat by Gunnersville. They're wearing their whites. Okay, so they're the higher, so seed, be the higher and, seed. And they might be the one seed. Uh, and then Arab whites are here in the girls game, so they I think they were the one seed. Now time for the trophy presentations. So Albertville getting their runner-up trophy under the leadership of Coach Blake Enlow. And next will be a Rab under Coach Carly Henderson. They will be JV Girls County Champions.
Now for a scoring recap, first for Arab, 11 points each for McKenna Tidmore and Lauren Lambert. Nine for Haley Price, seven for Jill, Jill Stapler, four for Leela Hip, and two for Millie Lackey. For Albertville, they were led by Miley West with 11. Six each for Henley Kilpatrick and Danny Childers. Five for Sarah Pruitt, three for Caitlin Lambert, and two for Sadie Adams. So that'll do it. Well, two down and uh, yeah, a, few, a few to go. We're just rolling right through yep, this thing. We are. So up next will be JV Boys action between Albertville and DAR, and we'll have it for you next. So for Mike Harden and Dane Dalkey, this is Greg Glasscock. We'll be back in just a bit with JV Boys action. This is Championship Saturday on Horizon Sports. Horizon Communications archives of local high school sports and school programs now spans decades and generations, covering multiple sports and programs. DVDs of these memorable events make the perfect gift for any occasion, and the cost is simple and affordable. The first game or program DVD is $20, the second game or program is $15, and then any others are only $10 each, all on their own individual DVD. Pre-1990 games converted from coaches' films are as low as $5 per game. We have hundreds of games from the late 50s on up. Give us a call at 256-582-7373, message us on Facebook, or email mharden at horizoncommunications.net to check the availability of your desired event. Let Horizon Communications help you with the gift of video to be treasured for a lifetime. Since 1992, Horizon Communications has brought you community channel programming. As we're preparing for another season of high school sports, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank our many loyal community-minded sponsors who've supported Horizon's local origination programming through the years. We encourage our local viewers to patronize our local sponsors and let them know how much you enjoy Horizon's community channel broadcast. For information on joining our team of Community Channel Broadcast Sponsors, give Mike Harden a call at 256-582-7373.